Time for your Toyota Sports Report. Just one contest on the local sports menu on Sunday. A boys NAC lacrosse contest in Fort Covington as the Salmon River Shamrocks hosted OFA. The Shamrocks looking to remain unbeaten while the Blue Devils look to move into a tie for first place with Salmon River with a win. Salmon River would lead 10-5 at the half, but OFA outscored the Shamrocks 5-1 in the third to trail by just one after three. Each team would score twice in the fourth, and Salmon River would hold on to beat OFA 13-12. Mason Cree and Sebastian Laughing led the way for Salmon River in the win with three goals each. Xavier Delormier had 15 saves for the Shamrocks. Dylan Irvine with a big day for OFA. He netted six goals, and Tegan Frederick added four goals. Alex Warden had 10 saves in the loss, which dropped OFA to 4-2 and two on the season. A full slate of boys lacrosse games are on tap in Section 10 on Monday, including Canton hosting Colton Pierpont. The Golden Bears are off to another solid start this season, sitting at 2-1 in the Section 10 standings with wins over OFA and Plattsburgh. Last season, Canton finished with an 8-4 record and lost to OFA in the Section 10 Class CD semifinals. Coach Jeff Myers confident his team will be in the mix for a Section 10 championship this season. Overall, I think we can compete with anybody in our section. Our goal is from Canton is to always win our section and then, you know, compete the best we can in state. So, uh, I think our young guys are going to be very effective for us, and I think we have some good leaders at the top, which will help keep us together. Um, this year, we've uh, we remember a lot of what happened last year, and we don't we need a building year. We've got a few young guys out there that are uh, looking really strong. A lot of us seniors. Uh, this is our last year, so we have a lot at stake and we don't want to go out soft so that's what we've got for this year. Oh, my expectations are great for this year. I feel like we've got a good strong team and we're going to do well. Because it got stolen from us last year and this year it's not. It's coming home. Turning to the baseball diamond, a tight race is already shaping up in the Frontier League's D division with the Belleville Henderson Panthers battling with both Lyme and Copenhagen for the top spot early on in the season. The Panthers hoping a strong rotation and some timely hitting can put them all alone atop the standings at the end of the season. The Panthers finished 2022 with a 14-4 overall record, 9-2 in the Frontier League D division, and lost in the Section 3 Class D quarterfinals. Coach Paul Gibbs has five seniors on this year's roster, but boasts a strong rotation once again in 2023. This year's team, we're a little young in some positions, but we seem to have talent. We brought back uh, most of all of our pitching crew. And we're looking to, you know, be as good if not to try to improve on what we did last year. This season, the Panthers have gotten off to a 2-2 two two start with wins over Lyme and Alexandria, scoring 29 runs in those victories. The players are confident the deeper the team gets into the Frontier League schedule, the better the results will be, with some of the younger players getting some much-needed experience. I'm pretty confident in this team. We have a lot of young guys that are learning and Years on will be good, and I feel like we can make a good run in sectionals and win Frontier League. How well the Panthers do this season will revolve around junior pitcher Britton Cross, who as a sophomore led the team with 40 strikeouts and was one of the aces of the staff. Cross says in order to repeat the success of last season, the team must stay positive and together as the season progresses. Our strength, I, I'd say like the... Being able to like stay together in it and not really get like mad at one each other and like staying like as a team and like just being together as a family mo mostly. To win the league and do well, I mean, on the mound we we've got to be accurate and everything, and and we got to be smart on the bases and get our bats going the way we should. And I think if we come together and do that, we'll be fine. You know, if the pitching crew crew stays up and stays well around the plate, limit our walks, we should be fine. Look for the Panthers to be in the mix for a Frontier League and sectional title this season.